So I want to show you a couple things. Um, I'm going to start with uh, panning the stereo image that I talked about before um, and talked about in respect to Paul C and what this is. And to give you a sense, I have that sample loaded up, the Delete, uh, DeFelice Trio. Uh, there was a time, and I'm going to play it. Now, uh, just warn you, you know, this whole, all these tutorials will be so much more valuable, valuable to you if you listen with a good piece of headphone um, or a good system. Uh, earbuds suck, major packages um, for everything. Uh, you know, your computer speakers aren't going to do much justice to it. And you may not be able to hear some of the stuff that I talk about just because of that. But um, anyways, I'm going to play the, the main sample, um, the drum sample and the bass sample from There Was a Time that Paul C. Uh, panned out of the stereo image. Now, I'm going to play it one time just so you can hear it and, and just listen to the, the left and the right. And that will make sense when we start talking about, you know, what is stereo. Um, I think I'm, I'm white again. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just play that so you can hear that. So I, I don't know exactly which side it's coming out of, but if you really listen, you can hear the drums coming out of one, one of your headphones and the bass line and the horns and stuff coming out um, of another, another side of your, your headphones. Now, I'm going to play it again, but I'm going to zoom in right here. And I want you to watch this, this right here. This is your VU meters, right? And you're going to see that they're different, that one's going to be you know, higher, one's going to be lower. And that's because one is reading uh, the the right, uh, the left, and the right and the right channel. Um, so what you're hearing in the left uh, speaker or headphone, and what you're hearing in the right. Um, so I'm gonna play that, and this is what stereo kind of looks like. See how they're different? It just means there's different sounds, a different mix of sounds on the left and right. Now. Um, I, I panned out the drums, and I'm going to play the drums. These drums are playing in mono, which means you'll see the same signals playing evenly on, on the left and right side. Watch this. I'm going to hit um, the panned out drums, where I've made them into a mono signal. So what we heard before was a stereo signal. What we'll hear now is a mono signal. Watch, watch the VUs. They're exactly the same. All right. You see what I'm saying? Here, here, here's the difference. Uh, All right, cool. So what I'll show you is basically, you know, um, what he did is Paul C figured out was um, that you could take the sound out of the left side and the right side of a stereo signal and turn them into their own mono signals. So that meant that he could, instead of having, he could take those drums out of the left side and the bass line out of the right side, and he could manipulate those sounds, uh, you know, basically, um, as he wanted to, you know, without them cl uh, clouding up each other, right? Like, you couldn't chop the snares out of that or the kicks out of that without having the bass line or the, the horns or whatever. And again, I'm going to play for you what I, what I did when I, when I panned out the drums. And then I'll play you the original bass line panned out too. You can kind of hear the drums. Okay, you can kind of hear the drums, okay? But still, it's much better than the original signal where, you, where you're hearing. Okay, but you're hearing them um, panned in the, the stereo image, which means, you know, whoever mixed that record, whoever was the engineer for that record, decided, um, you know, to pan the drums hard to the left and have a little bit of them in the right channel with the bass line, just enough so, just so you could just barely hear it you know but the drums on the other side were no bass line or any any sound so so basically this is kind of a, a simple a simple technique and and i'm i'm not going to spend too much time really sh like showing you deep down like how to do it um but if i go into my edit my edit samples and i'll bring up you know i bring up the original sample right and you can actually see it if i push in on this um, you can see 
here's showing you the stereo image, right? We have one side where this is the drums, so maybe the left side, and this is the side with the bass, all right? And so he basically figured out how to separate these sounds um, from one another, you know, so that he could manipulate manipulate them individually and have them as, a, as essentially a mono signal, which even if it's mono, you still hear it on the left and right. You just hear it evenly. All right. So all he did is a pretty simple process is, is, you know, you basically just go into your, your sample editor. And for me, I just go, you know, if I want to pan out the drums or pan out anything I go process. Um, and I'm going to go to something that's called stereo to mono. So I'm going to convert stereo to mono. I can convert the left and I can convert the, the right. And it's just going to basically create um, a new sample. I'm not going to do that because I have that in there. And, um, you, you know, if I play, if I play this, you, 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 you can hear this right here. So there's the drums. Again, the drums, just the drums, and then comes in some of the horn parts, and that's how the, the bass line, the bass part sounds. Now, I actually had that cropped a little bit, there's, there's a full bit of it. All right, so again, if I go back to my main screen, pull out, whoops, doink. It's gonna be a little, come on. Uh, anyways, uh, don't mind that part, it is what it is. Um, so when I pan them out of the image, again, I have the drums real clean, and then I have the bass line. 